Okay, salawam, salawam, kwam ya zahala, kohlo yim la, ya hawa ba shim ya wa shai, ba hashem, ka ha kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, that by the spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to take the water. To all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of your Hawaii Shimia Washai to the best of their ability. Shachanan the Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying. Amen. We almost out of here. Keep fighting, man. Keep fighting. Keep on praying for the downfall of our enemies, the so-called white man. <laughs> the damn Edomites. That's their biblical name. Them Edomites. The Esau Edom. You know? But now, as you may have heard, this is over um Crimea or Russia Bridge. You know, whatever, you know, because it's got a train track on it. They also, you know, train, you know, it's cars, you know, so they kind of got it's like a multiple bridge, you know, with a train track and, you know, also like a freeway, so to speak, you know, for getting back and forth, I guess, from over Russia to Crimea. But as you may have heard, they, you know, somebody hit it you know, supposedly 18 will it blew up along with whatever, you know, it, it, you can, you know, it's sabotage. But anyway. That goes along with those pipelines and stuff, you know, so it's a lot going on right now as far as like Russia and Ukraine and there's been talks of nuclear war and Armageddon and you got these countries, they're buying, um, I can't think what the name of these pills or this medicine is where, you know, it's, it's for radiation exposure, but America just bought like $300 million worth and, you know, they supposedly, you know, from some pharmaceutical company out in California and also Russia few weeks back I heard them buying some too so they souping up for nuclear action man and and this is part of the last days prophecies and this is the type of stuff that we pray for and you know you may have a Christian church they'd be like oh why would you pray for something yeah we're praying for the destruction of this place because when this place is destroyed our kingdom gets set up you know and that's what this place need this place needs destruction because the so-called white man he's the he's shit it's destroyed already you you are walking, breathing in, in poison. You're eating in, you're eating poison. You're drinking poison. Everything this man has touched is destructive as hell, man. But this is an unfair use act. This is not for um, monetary value at all. I'm doing this for educational purposes. I'm gonna play this video. This video is from um, Insider, and you know you can get a little bit of what's going on. And also as well, you know I've seen another uh, a story as well. You know an article that I'm gonna pull up as well with some um, scriptures. One sec here. Okay, yeah, it's locking. So we're gonna play it. Um, as you can see, it's a minute forty four seconds. <laughs> and that's the spirit. Call hello, you my Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. But let's play it. An explosion on a bridge connecting Crimea and Russia rocked a country already frayed because of war. The explosion partially collapsed the bridge linking Crimea, which Russia annexed in 2014, and the mainland. Russian authorities claim a truck bomb caused the blast, which killed three people. Nobody has claimed responsibility for it. Ukrainian officials say at least 20 homes and 50 apartment buildings were damaged or destroyed this weekend when Russian missiles tortured the city of Zaporizhia. Miraculously, some residents survived rescuers pulling them from the rubble. This wild security cam video shows the moment a bridge in Kyiv, Ukraine, gets swallowed in flames Monday morning. The glass-bottomed footbridge runs across a wooded valley in the city center. It's one of Kyiv's most popular tourist sites. One pedestrian running away from the blast, narrowly escaping that explosion. The Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said the rush hour attacks appear to have been deliberately timed to kill people and knock out electricity. By mid-morning, Ukraine's defense ministry said Russia had fired 81 cruise missiles and Ukraine's air defenses shot down 43 of them. Kyiv city police said at least five people had been killed, 12 wounded in the capital. And there are fears the Russian invasion of Ukraine may enter a cataclysmic new phase. In a BBC interview, Zelensky said he believes the Kremlin is laying the groundwork for a possible nuclear attack. They begin to prepare their society. That is very dangerous. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Stephanie Officer. Okay, and there you have it. He says they, pre they prepare, and that's how you can tell what's, what's about to come, because they're preparing for it. <laughs> they ain't buying these, you know, these, these radiation medicine and radiation pills or whatever it is for nothing. This guy's talking about, you know, um, doing that thing over there, man. Let's get um, this article right here. It just 
not that came out today, wasn't that old, but it says, Salaki, this is Rudders. EU condemns barbaric Russian missile attacks, warns Belarus. Because, you know, Belarus is an ally to uh, Russia. It says Brussels. This is October 10th. The European Commission condemned as barbaric Russian missile strikes on Kiev and other European cities on Monday and warned Belarus against helping its ally kill civilians. Hey, Belarus is down with, with Russia, man. Hey, you, you ain't about to tell these people what to do. They 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 done already told, <laughs> put out there what they're about. EU foreign policy chief jo Joseph Borrell said Russia's acts had no place in the 21st century. Adding in a tweet that military support for Ukraine from the bloc was on its way. Russia pounded cities across Ukraine during rush hour in apparent revenge strikes after President Vladimir Putin declared a blast on Russia's bridge to Crimea to be a terrorist attack. So, hey, he's striking back. And they knew it was coming. And I'm sure they know who it was, man, that done that shit, too. Says they are barbaric and cowardly attacks targeting innocent civilians on the way to work and school and in morning traffic. Hey, this shit sounds about like what America done to Japan, huh? And a bunch of other places they done bombed. But when, it's, it, when it comes to America... And in certain, you know, these NATO countries, it's, it's all in the name of democracy. But when somebody else do it, they're barbaric terrorists, man. Bunch of damn hypocrites. It says, um, Peter Stano, a spokesperson for the European Union's executive arm, told the Commission Daily News Briefing. He described the strikes as contravention of international humanitarian law and said Russia's political and military leadership would be held accountable for those, for these and other war crimes. So, see, they're calling them war crimes. The commission urged Belarus to refrain from any involvement in Russia's brutal, illegitimate undertaking that violated the United Nations Charter in international law. But y'all the ones that's fucking with them. <laughs> this is how all this shit got started. You trying to push in and, and bring your, your, your damn military might right on this man's border. That's how it all got started. You want to turn... Uh, Ukraine into a NATO nation right across this man's border and you want to set up missiles and shit and nuclear shit right on this man's border. Ah, oh, man, yeah, you started it. It says specifically it told Minsk immediately to stop allowing the territory of Belarus to serve as a launch pad for very recent missile strikes and drone attacks against Ukrainian civilians. But America is supplying Ukrainians with shit to shoot. See these people, man? <laughs> hey, 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 and you so-called hey, you, you, you Americans Y'all should be outraged by these people Using your taxpayers money to, to, um, to fund this type of shit You should be outraged man It says Any further actions And in particular The, Belu the Belarusian Military direct involvement Into this war Against the will of the vast majority of the Bel Belarusian people would be met by new and strong restrictive measures, Stano said. How you know the Bel Belarusian people are not with it? But see, this is the type of shit that they'll throw out there at you. What, what did you take a vote? You took a vote from all the people that live in Belarus like, hey, well, we don't want nothing to do with the war. Did you take a vote or are you just saying, you know, but that's how they that's how they do. Like they're saying Russia. The Russians don't want that. They don't want to. They don't want anything. No, nah, that, that's you, hey, you listen to these Americans, man, and, and their, their media. They're not going to give you the truth, man. Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko said on Monday he had ordered troops to deploy with Russian forces near Ukraine in response to what he said was a clear threat to Belarus from Kiev. And, 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 and his backers in the West. So this man, hey, he's like, fuck y'all, man. I'm down with Russia. I'm running with Russia, man, on this, man. And there you have it. You know, I, you know, I didn't want to go too further into it. But you can see it's a lot of shit that's happening. A lot of stuff that's going on. And we're most definitely in the last days. And it's high time to awake out of sleep. It is so high time for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites. Because the Lord is doing all this for you. He's going to bring all these nations to fight against each other on behalf of you just before he comes. 
because he's pleading for his children. He's pleading for the children of Israel, the apple of his eye. And it's you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, because you're the only people that's on this planet that don't have a standing military. As a nation of people, man. While these people running around this motherfucker bombing every goddamn thing, you in the hood shooting your your own fellow uh, people with the shit that they created. That's the best you got is, is the gun is a gun that a so-called white man made to kill your own people in a damn drive by. That's the best you working with, man. OK, well, let's get um. This is how you know we're in the last days, though. Let's get what Yahweh told the disciples when they asked him what would be happening. In the last days Matthew 24 and 3 And it and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives The disciples came unto him privately saying Tell us when shall these things be And what shall be the sign of thy coming And of the end of the world And Yahweh answered and said unto them Take heed that no man deceive you For many shall come in my name Saying I am the Mashiach And shall deceive many And you shall hear of wars Rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And these things are happening on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, you know, you, you know, you've heard of, you know, little skirmishes and war here. And, you know, this person, and, you know, it's always been somebody fighting somebody. But when they get to talking about nuclear war... <laughs> when they get to talking about using nukes, it's about to get real out here, man. And this has to do with it, it, this is a world war already because pretty much what's going on with Russia is all got to do with NATO, which NATO, I think it's like 30 countries in NATO. You got the EU. You see what I'm saying? And you got this goddamn beast that's spoken of in Revelation. Hey, they out here. They ready to go, man. This beast system is out here on the move. And you got Russia, China, Iran. You know, you got it, it's some it's some super. You, hey, this is about to be that that super, that 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 heavyweight fight, man, that everybody has been waiting on, so to speak. All that little, you know, the America running around beating up on third world countries and shit. See, they're not. They're, they're, that's why. They, why aren't they running into Russia? Why aren't they running into China? They they done ran into everybody else shit. Because they understand that Russia and China have some military might that can match them. And if it wasn't for the NATO, you know, as far as like the 30 other nations that they got. So basically, it's like it's like being jumped by 30 people, man. You got three people fighting against 30 people, so to speak. And you can't even handle them. That's crazy. That is crazy, man. But it's all coming down to the, the, this whole place is being divided. Esau, Edom is divided against each other. And, and a lot of these sanctions that America is putting on, on Russia is affecting their allies. It's affecting the people that's actually down with them. And it's also affecting the American people. Look at how high the damn gas is right now. You see? Look at how, look at how expensive your food is right now. And they're telling you it's because of Russia. <laughs> you see? But they got all your money to send to the Ukrainians. And then not to mention, they, 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 they're, they're still funding um, um, Israel at the same time. In the meanwhile, you can barely afford groceries. You trying to get your children to a damn daycare, an expensive ass daycare to go work for a couple of dollars an hour just to try and keep a roof over your head and, and, some, and some groceries in, in the refrigerator, man. The American people are struggling. You're their own people. So the allies of America are actually struggling. Because all they're focused on is, is war, 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 more machine guns, more <laughs> helicopters, more fighter jets, more uh, 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 missiles and shit like that. And meanwhile, they're, they're not thinking about their own citizens. So it's all coming to a point of a crumble, man. It's all coming to a point of a crumble, man. No nation can. can and I went into that. Um, let's go. We already in Matthew. Let's get um, 12 and 25. You can't, you can't survive like that, man. If you think about a marriage, if a marriage, a household, any household that's ran like how America is running shit, motherfuckers get divorced. <laughs> it's that simple, man. And that's what's going on right here. 
Matthew 12 and 25. And Yahweh knew their thoughts and said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. It's like damn scam. Scam likely popping up while I'm doing a lesson. And if Satan casts out Satan, that's Satan too. If Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? And that's what's going on, man. You got America all divided up. The so-called white people here all divided up. And that's all these European countries. Motherfuckers out here, man, protesting, going against their governments. You got a right-hand side, a left-hand side, a, 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 a upper echelon, a lower echelon. <laughs> you know, it's, it's all divided up. And you a country can't stand like that. A nation can't stand like that. And like I said, again, America's allies, the people that are down with them and have been down with them for decades and decades and decades on end, they're starting to get the short end of the stick. They've been getting the short end of the stick, but now it's coming to a point where they like, hey, look, too much, man. You, you Americans have gone too damn far and they're going to come up against America, man, to go along with the people that's already against them. That guy putting President Putin to Russia, man, he's been putting it down. He letting it, he, these nations know that America is the problem with the entire earth. It's just that they, they really can't do anything right off. They understand that, but see the Lord, and he's he's bundling up, and he he's putting these these the thoughts into these leaders' heads to do what needs to be done. Well, in fact, let me end out with that. Proverbs twenty one and one: The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Yeah, how? As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. And that's what's happening right now. So it's nothing that no one can do, man. The prophecies is going to go forth. The Lord is going to use each one of these presidents, each one of these leaders, each one of these generals, whatever. He's going to use these particular men to do his will. And that's to go into World War Three, implement that that MOTB. And and, 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 and and just before, I mean, hey, the Lord is setting this place up to be burned, man. So that's why it's so important to repent. Ain't no use in trying to hang on to this place. I mean, we get up and we handle our business. We do, you know, our day to day things. We try, you know, we maintain. But we don't have no stock in this place, man. We're praying for this place to be destroyed. Because when this place is destroyed, then the new kingdom comes. And everybody is going to be blessed when it comes to the new kingdom. Because they're going to be ruled over by the Israelites, which are going to be, it's going to be a righteous kingdom. It's not going to be this, this wicked ass kingdom that this so-called white man has been pushing for, for centuries, centuries on end, man. This place is terrible. It's terrible. You know it's terrible when, 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 when <laughs> a motherfucker has the ability to push a button and, 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 and blow the whole goddamn globe up anyway. Why would you want to live under people like that? But anyway, with that, I wanted to just touch on it, bring that, you know, because we got to touch on these things. The Lord said to be circumspect, you know, to um, watch and pray, to measure all the time diligently. You got to watch for stuff like this, man, because we're getting closer and closer and closer to the end on a day to day basis. Ain't no telling what's going to happen, you know, by January 1st, man, the way that these people are moving, because they're moving pretty damn fast, man, on a lot of shit. And it's going to hit you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans the quickest and the worst because you're not paying attention, man. You, you're, being, you've been, you're being given warning by the men of the Lord, man. The men are out on the highways and byways on a night-to-night, -night, day day-to-day basis, putting out videos, doing lessons, letting you know what's going on, and you just ignoring the shit. But, hey, that's up to you. So with that, pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.